Hey guys, it is Toya back with you. It is a beautiful Friday afternoon and it is nice outside, just a little cold. And if you keep wondering why I'm looking that way, because I have like land all behind me and um, it's, you know, birds, deers, you know, the distraction sometimes gets me, but I'm here with you. <laughs> okay, so today what I wanted to do, uh, I thought about doing rebuttals. Uh, rebuttals is part of the business uh, and I want you to be prepared to go on the battlefield so when these sellers ask you these different questions you're able to answer them right back and just kind of move on you know always just say you know what you gotta say and just move on uh, so I came up with a few questions I got them written down so I will not forget uh, to go into the battlefield <laughs> But uh, but it's okay, you know. This gets you good on your game, you know, so you won't be stuck um, at anything. And 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 make sure whatever you say, you feel comfortable comfortable at what you have to say. I'm gonna give you a little bit of outline, but I want you to feel comfortable on um, what you're gonna say. Okay, so what's the first question? Okay, how did you get my information? If you're doing this, you know you hear this all the time. <laughs> And basically, all I say is um, I go to different websites and I pull public information with addresses and names and um, and then um, I'm able to get your information and that's why I'm calling you today. <laughs> so basically that or driving for dollars. Uh, I may have driven past the property and it's vacant. Uh, so, you know, I researched and found you or... I uh, went online and saw that you pay taxes on this property, but you may have a different mailing address. And that kind of shows me you may have it as an investment property, possibly. I don't know, but good indication. Okay, so, and move on. So anyways, and you continue back with the conversation. Okay, they're pretty much good with that. Um, let's see, number two, who are you? What do you do? Get your script right. I'm very comfortable with what I say, but get it right. Make sure you are confident so you can tell people who you are and what you do. Mine is pretty much this. Well, I'm an investor and uh, I live in the area and I'm looking for properties, you know, so I can add to my portfolio. Um, I pretty much bought over 50 of them or your number, you know, and I would like to double that this year. So, uh, yeah. Basically, that's what you do. And I buy property sold as is. I buy it cash only. And uh, what I do with the property, so you're up front and telling them almost kind of what you're doing. Um, I work with a group of investors. Uh, we buy and sell properties. And uh, we get together. It's either I'm going to buy the property or I'll assign it to another investor. Uh, we fix and flip properties or we'll either rent the properties. And, uh, and you know, other options too, just as well, you know, owner financing. But, you know, we pretty much do that. So kind of give them the val value of what you do and then move on. They're like, oh, okay, all right. Sounds like she knows what she's doing and who they are. If you have an office, break down a location so you can say that. If you have a website, hey, may give them a website so they can go online or research you, whatever. You know, just be prepared and be confident and give it out. Okay, so let's see, number three. Um, okay, I don't have a sign out on the yard. I am not marketing the property. Okay, that's fine. Uh, most properties that we do get, uh, they are off-market properties. Uh, so I would be still interested in looking at your property or buying your property. Uh, basically, yeah, I mean, that's it. it. You know, you don't look for properties that are online. You know, that's how you found them. So if they are open to selling their home, I'm definitely interested in buying the home. Move on. All right, and what's the next one? Um, well, then what can you offer me? That's a good one. And let me tell you something. That's a good one when they ask that question at the beginning. Then that means that this is when you, you know, got to get that back right <laughs> and bring back the conversation and control it. Because uh, it can go left and go left real quick. And what you want to say is, because this is facts. This is the right way. You know, listen, 
it wouldn't be fair for me to offer you a offer and I don't know anything about your house. Um, so if you can, you know, you have a few minutes to talk, I would love to hear what you can tell me about the property so I can go ahead and give you a fair offer. Because I don't think it would be fair right away to just say, hey, I can offer you 20000 and then you come back to me and say, well, how do you know that? Because they will come back to you and say that. How do you know that? Because you haven't even seen the house. <laughs> okay, you know, of course. So basically, I just need to know a little bit of information just so I know what's going on with the property like repairs you know I need to find out you know what what type of repairs I have to do to fix the property you know these are the stuff that you know that's in the numbers simple you know and that makes sense you know uh, what is one that they always say that I'm just like ah oh, it just cringes my teeth not you can give me an offer but oh so you know just basically in a conversation and I say well what do you think that your house is valued at and then that's when they come back to me and say, well, you call me, you should tell me what the house is, <laughs> you know, what it's worth. Uh, and, and I understand that, but I'm saying if, if you ever thought about selling the, ho the house, did you have even an inkling on, on, you know, what you would sell it for? Or maybe you've looked or research or, you know, maybe your friends or neighbors may have said what the property's worth. I'm just saying, but that's okay. I have no problem giving you an offer and then move on to get back to the repairs. That's it. You don't want to make anything confrontational. You want to make anything like boom, boom, boom. You just want to make it sound like it's honest. You're being truthful. And it sounds like you know what you're talking about. Okay? So, all right. Um, last one. Uh, top five. Top five. Got to give you five. <laughs> uh, let's see. They want to, let's see, can't read my own handwriting. That has some, happens sometimes. So give me a moment. Uh, okay, so land assessed value or this is a big one, uh, tax value, uh, market value. Okay, so they say, you know, and sometimes they're not knowledgeable on really, you know, market tax, you know, it's okay. But listen, listen to them. So they say, well, yeah, I pretty much want my house to get market value. Because um, who wouldn't, right? I know I would. I don't care what the hell that damn property look like. <laughs> I want market value. I want all the money I can get. I get it. But let's, let's make it make sense. Okay. So market value to me, and this is from, again, my realtor background, um, Market value is when I can sell the property to a buyer. And the buyer can walk into the property, turnkey, everything's set, lights on, floor is nice, walls nice, kitchen, everything is ready to live in. Okay. Now, most of the properties you talk to with these people is not like that. So this is why you got to understand the market value. So you can break it down so they understand. So if they say, I said, can I do that? Can I walk in and do that? No, it needs a little repairs. Okay, so let's go from there. Now we got the repairs. So how much, and that's when you go over, uh, go back over the repairs that they had talked about you earlier and you kind of get your numbers. So just say, um, okay, so market value is turnkey. And I can't give you that because the house isn't worth that. Okay, so... It needs 20000 in repairs. So market value is 100000 right? 100000 Let me do the quick calculation real quick. I'm going to do this in another video. I'm going to break it down for y'all real quick. <laughs> okay, so let's see here. What I'm at? 100000 Okay. Now, $20,000 in repairs. Let's go $20,000 in repairs. That's $80,000. We already had $80,000. Okay, they have market. You ain't got to say it out loud. Time to do the calculations where they can kind of hear a little bit, you know, just so they know where you're at. Okay, 80000 Now, investors like 70%, right? Okay, around that. So now I know I'm at $56,000. Okay, what's the thing that I'm missing? Repairs. Oh, we already got that. <laughs> okay, let me go back. Most important thing, what's the thing we're missing? 
our pay, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and strap. We're gonna do ten thousand, okay? I gotta get ten. So I already know right now. I need to offer about forty six thousand dollars. <laughs> Room to negotiate, but I gotta be on. I gotta be around that ballpark. I gotta be around that. So market value, I can give you if it's repairs, and just doing the calculation with how the numbers work. This is what I'm going to have to offer you um, based on it not being market. Now, yeah, if I just minus repairs, give you 80000 I made no money and I can't pay your closing cost, and that's not a good deal for me. So, you know, you just kind of break it down on how you, 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 your analogy is um, based on numbers and what you need it for. So that's a big one. I want market. Okay, get them back to reality on why they can't get market. <laughs> okay, um, and maybe even have ammo if you saw the property previously listed um, with the realtor at a certain price and it didn't sell. Then you say, hey, well, this price too, you know, is sitting on the market and it's selling, you know, you withdrew it. So, you know, it's obviously the price, you know, you, you, you can't get market. So, all right, top five. I hope that did you well. I think I'm out of time, but um, I hope that helped. Keep pressing, keep pressing, keep pressing, because I promise you, um, you're going to get a lot of those, um, but you get good, you get confident at it. Just move on. Don't, don't make it a big deal. Just move on, answer the question. Keep it going, keep it going. You got it, all right? Okay, so I don't know what my next video is going to be about, but it's coming. All right, you guys have a great weekend, and um, I'll talk to you next time. Bye.